how do we do this in the church? Nashkuru kufika hapa. I'm still fidel. I'm very happy to be here. Kwa sababu shule ya Biblia ya Sipake. Kwa machache nimetamata mwalimu amesema kama Mungu anataka uamushe. For the few that he has kinachoi when you want pole pole jamani. Because the fact maeleza tena. So he is saying that for the little he has received when he came in while you were teaching, you say that it is the Lord who wants the revival. Na kinacho itajika, mwalimu amesema furaha, upendo wa Mungu, kujiachilia, imani kuombea watu, mambo kaza wakati. Uh -huh. And what is needed from people is the joy, peace, happiness, and faith yeah. and pray to the people. Sasa ulizo yangu ni hii. So my question is this. Makanisa karibu zote. Almost every church. Tuseme basi za Afrika. Especially Kila African wakati, churches. Kila wakati unasikia tuna mkutano ya uamusho. Every time you will hear we have a revival meeting. Hii mwezi ni mkutano ya uamusho. That this man we shall be having revival meetings. Unasemaje juu ya ile matangazo mkutano ya uamusho ijapokuwa umesema kwamba Mungu yeye peke yake ataka uamusho. So how, how how will you say because every time we hear people announcing revival meetings and we have seen that it is the Lord who needs the revival. What can you comment about these announcements? In this meeting they say that the Lord needs revival? No. We have said here when you are teaching to say is now he for example in Africa you will hear people announcing that we have revival meetings, we have revival meetings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how what can you okay. comment about okay. the announcement? Now let me clarify this the first part you said. I am was a person wake wazi kwa kila ambacho kipengele cha kwanza umekuwa. When I say joy and love, it doesn't mean people have joy and love always have revival. Aha, no kusema kwamba furaha na amani haimaanishi kwamba watu kila wakati wanaishi katika furaha na amani. I mean people have this relationship with God, they have the strength from the Love and the joy of the Lord. Yekuamba ni mesema mtu akiwa na uusiano wa karibu na mungu ataweza kuwa na furaha na amani itokayo kwa mungu. And then they're willing to change their life and submit their life and dedicate their life to God to serve God and to bless people. Na hawa watu utapata kwa maisha yao yote wa mengitolea wa kamuachia mungu na wa mengitoa hata kusaidia wa tuengine kwa ali ya kuwa upea. Just having joy and love doesn't necessarily mean revival. Sio tu kwa mba ukiwa na furaha na amani na maanisha kwa mba ni uamsho. I mean the connection with God that brings joy and peace. Ule munga niko ambao unao kati yako na mungu ndiyo unao leta amani na furaha. For instance I have seen in Africa there are many a lot of singing oh the Lord Oh, 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 hallelujah. A lot of singing. They have a lot of joy. They have a lot of joy. They have a lot of have a lot of joy. They have a lot of joy. They have a lot of joy. They have have revival? Do they necessarily have revival? Je, kwa kweli ijapo kuwa wako na furaha katika kuimba na kucheza, wao wako na uamsho. If the joy doesn't go to action, you know, to love God and love people and evangelism the grace of people's spiritual life is not revival. Basi ijapo kuwa tunaimba na kucheza hivyo na hatuunga niki, hatuna uhusiano wa karibu na mungu na marisa kwa mba yoshu na yofanya ni bure manako, manake haileti uamsho. Now, revival meetings is a term. It's a term. Aha. Kusema kwa mba mikutano za uamsho ni usemi tu. Revival meetings don't necessarily have revival. Ndi ijapo kuwa tunazita mikutano za uamsho lakini hazina uamsho kabisa na revival meeting can bring revival na kuna mikutano za uamsho zinazoweza kuleta uamsho but not every revival meeting bring revival lakini sio mikutano zote tunazotangaza uamsho zinaleta uamsho because in some revival meetings kwa sababu katika mikutano zingine za uamsho people just look for a lot of singing dancing watu wanakuja kwenye mikutano ili kucheza na kukula muziki na kukamata na kucheza kwa power the holy spirit na kukucheza tu wakielekeza mikono zao juu wakisema kwamba nimemkuza roho mtakatifu or a lot of Deliverance. Oh, when you are saying that we are going to 
kufunguliwa zaidi demons driven out mapepo yamefukuzwa now this is all good hiyo kazi yote ni nzuri but it has to lead to the great commission lakini hii kazi lazima iwe inaelekeza katika ile ahadi kuu the great commandment and the great commission great commandment to love god and love people and great commission to preach the gospel and teach people to obey everything Jesus has taught. Sheria kuu ya Mungu ni kwamba ni kumpenda Mungu kwa moyo wako wote na akili zako zote na nafsi yako yote. Na pia hiyo ndiyo sheria kubwa ya Mungu na pia kuwapenda watu wengine kama kuwapenda majirani zako. Na pia sasa sehemu nyingine ya pili ni kwamba unafanya kulingana na vile Kristo Yesu alivyokutuma kufanya, kuhubiri injili na kuombea watu na kuwabatiza watu. I have been to many revival meetings in different parts of the world. Yeye amekuwa katika mikutano mingi za uamso katika dunia hii. Sometimes I was disappointed. Na kuna wakati mwingine anakasirishwa because they just have anointing or deliverance and stop there. Na manake watu katika mikutano mingi utapata tu ni mambo tu ya kufunguliwa, mapepo kufukuzwa na watu kupakwa na upako na mafuta na inaishia hapo. A lot of times there is no motivation or training of people to follow the great commandment and great commission. Na unapata hizo mikutano mingi haziwafundishi watu kufuata ile ahadi kuu tuliyoachiwa na Kristo Yesu. People just feel good. Yaani watu wanakuja tu ili wajisikie vizuri. But no action, lakini hakuna matendo. It doesn't bring revival. Hakuna matendo ambayo yanaleta uamso katika hizo mikutano. Revival has to be in great commission and great command. Uamso ni lazima uwe katika ahadi kuu na uwe katika sheria kuu ya Mungu. People love God and love people. Ya kwamba watu wapende Mungu na watu wapendane wao kwa Mungu. And allow us to bring people to Jesus. Na watu wakuwa na ule mvuto wa kuwaleta watu wengine katika Yesu Kristo. And help the Christians who love God more. Na wasaidie wa Kristo kumpenda Mungu zaidi. To raise up the spiritual life. Ili wainue maisha ya kiroho ya watu wengine. Amen. Okay. Now, but deliverance and experience always here are helpful. Ndio, basi kufunguliwa na kufukuza mapepo ni jambo la muhimu but don't stop there lakini usiachie hapo and i see there's a need of a lot of training na mimi ninaona kwamba watu wengi wanahitaji kufundishwa and that's what i'm doing here to train you so that you can understand and how to go into the presence of god how to be serving god more and raise the people to serve god this is training na ndicho anachojaribu kufanya kwamba kwamba kama wewe kiongozi Unapotoka hapa uende uendelee kufundisha watu wa kanisa la kwako. Usiwe tu na mkutano wa kufukuza mapepo na kufunguliwa na kuachia hapo. And I encourage you in your church. Na ninakuhimiza unaporudi kanisani kwako. Don't just have meaning that brings a lot of excitement. Usikuta mikutano ambayo zinaleta msisimko tu. Excitement is good. Msisimko ni mzuri. Yeah, I see meetings that keep going all singing dancing hallelujah praise the Lord. Ameona mikutano ambazo watu wanaimba kwa furaha wakipiga excited. Kila mmoja ana msisimko na furaha zaidi. But they were not trained or motivated to move in action. Lakini wao hawajafundishwa ili nao wakapate kufundisha watu wengine. 